All right, so my dad is a carpenter and something that he taught me when I was younger is to measure twice and to cut once. Now, what does that mean when it comes to web design? It means don't just rush into creating a project straight into design, straight into whatever you're gonna build. Don't do that. Take a little bit of time, plan out your website, have a strategy in mind. One, it's gonna save you a bunch of time and effort and the job's just gonna go quicker. But two, you're gonna end up with a way better result. You're gonna end up with a website that has a plan behind it that helps your clients in a much bigger way. That makes your business just a better business. And in the future, that's what's gonna make you a more profitable web designer and a more in-demand web designer. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is just a quick 10 minute thing that you can do really simply to plan out your website, to have a great strategy behind it, to just have like a game plan to win with this website. Help your clients as much as possible, build a website that really matters. It doesn't just look good, it actually does something for your clients, for their business, and just better all around. So if you're ready to go, let's jump into it straight away. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna start. This is where I left off at the end of the last episode. So if you haven't checked that out, go back and do so. What we had gotten to, the point that we had gotten to, was we had talked to the client and we had discovered these clear problems that the client has. So we had a conversation, talked about the business, um, we got into where the business was at, you know, what things are changing, what the new challenges were, potential problems, how we could help them in the biggest way possible. So this is always where I recommend you start a project. It's got to start with a very clear goal for the business. We don't just want to be building websites that look good for no reason. We want to build a website that looks good, sure, but that solves a lot of problems and really helps the business in a big way. So these are the things for this particular project that are gonna help the most. So all I've done is taken these points that I got directly from the client through that process of talking to them, and I've just dropped them into this piece of software. It's called XMind, and it's just like a mind mapping software to get creative, do some brainstorming, figure out how we can solve these problems. So when I have the problems listed like this, the next thing I'm gonna do is go through each one and just figure out like what's the most important problems, what's kind of like a secondary problem that you know should be fixed just by fixing the first problems, and what's something that I don't really need to think about too much. So going through this list, okay, new location, sure, that's important, but that's like not the major thing to focus on with this website, although it will be in there. New business idea, this is definitely one of the most important things that the business has switched up, that this client is now going in a new direction and that he's now trying to get new sorts of clients. So these two are really the big ones, I think, with this project. Um, no website, he doesn't have a website right now. We're gonna fix that just by building this website. So I'm actually gonna delete that. He wants to grow the business. He wants to scale it, get a new trainer. Perfect. Now, can I fix that with this website project? Not really directly. If I help with these other two things, if I help explain that he has a new business idea and I help him attract the new sorts of clients, then that's gonna help him with this goal. So that's kind of like an indirect goal. If I do these two things here correctly, it will help him with this, but it's not something directly through the website that I can hire him a new trainer and that I can scale the business directly. So I do wanna help with this, but it's not something that I have to worry about too much with the website directly. It's just something that will be um, solved if I do everything else correctly. So I'm gonna put that down at the bottom. Now these two, easier sales and better systems. This is just referring to like having a good website that answers a lot of questions, makes it easier for people to find out again who it's for, what sort of clients, how they sign up, what the prices are, what the opening times are, um, what they need to bring, how to get their first lesson, how to book, all that stuff. So this is just really referring to good systems um, with the website. So I'm just gonna mark that in here. Okay, cool. So now we have our list of the most important goals that we're gonna you know, focus on having a good system with the website, our secondary goal of focusing on him having a new location, and then an indirect goal of helping grow his business, which is really what we want to do, but we got to make this happen by focusing on these other things. So we've broken down his problems, his challenges. We now know for us, when we're planning out the website, where our priorities should be and how to add the most value, focusing on these two big ones with this particular project. It's always gonna be different, but if you follow this system, you'll be able to uncover the different things for yourself. So with this particular project, it's the new business idea, and it's the new type of client that he wants to attract. So now that I know this, I can start brainstorming the different layouts that I can have on this website. Okay, so over here, I'm just going to put this little section here so you guys know what I'm doing. Website layout, underneath this, I'm gonna start planning out some of the sections to help achieve these goals. With this particular project, it's a one-page project, so I'm just gonna plan out what's gonna be on that one page. It can't be an infinitive page that goes on forever with a million different sections. I got to stick with, you know, simple one page layout, 
something that people are actually going to realistically get through but that still helps with these goals as much as possible so i'm going to add in the quick you know sections that are obviously going to be there and then we can look at the extra sections to help us achieve these goals okay so what i've done here is add in a top menu hero section and at the bottom there a contact form and footer these are basically my in and out goals this is where people are going to start at the top and my goal is to get them to the bottom and for them to take action with this contact form now in this business that's what i want them to do to use this contact form for other businesses. Maybe there's another goal. It's gonna change for every project. With this one, I want them to use the contact form, either sign up for the first lesson directly or ask about more information and move towards becoming a customer. So these are my goals. They come in at the top, they leave at the bottom. And if I get them to leave at the bottom in the right way, the website will get results. So this is what you should be doing with your projects as well. Plan out where people are gonna start and then plan out the goal at the end and then you can focus on what goes in the middle, which is what we're gonna cover next. Okay, so now that I have my in and out points, the next thing I'm gonna do is look at the main goals for this project. What are the main goals for this specific project? This new business idea that he wants to get the message out there that this is a new type of gym, it's focusing on these sort of things, it's getting these sort of results for people, and then with that, attracting these new sort of clients. If you follow the previous lessons, you will know that this is a boxing coach who, you know, from this point onwards, really wants to get these people who are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, they're dedicated, they're committed, they want to go far with boxing, they want to get the best coaching possible, and they're willing to pay for that level of service. So this is what I need to tackle first on the website. I don't want to waste that top space talking about other stuff or getting ahead of myself talking about the fine details, you know, things like opening hours and tiny little questions they might have. I want to use that top space to my advantage to get straight into these big goals and show the right sort of people that this is the right business for them. So look at your main goals at the website. What are you trying to say? Who are you trying to say it to? Say that first so those people know that this is a business for them, that they stay on the website, and then you can get into the fine details, either how to sign up or how to take action or just whatever's involved with the sale or the action that you're trying to get them to take. But start with showing the right people that you're trying to reach that this is the right website for them and use those top sections, that top content to your advantage. Okay, so with that in mind, I just added in these three sections. Why this gym, about the gym in more detail, and then about the coach. What am I doing here? Again, most important goal, new business idea, new sort of client. If those people get on the website, so put yourself in their place. They're out there right now, these ideal sort of clients who will be perfect for this business. They're going online, they're going on Google, they're searching boxing gyms for this location. This website pops up, other websites pop up. What's gonna make the difference here? I wanna show them straight away with these sections that this particular gym is perfect for them. So I'm not trying to make this about attracting everyone to the boxing gym. I'm keeping in mind his goal. He wants a certain sort of client. And for me to get him that certain sort of client, I really wanna have these sections right away on the website that just show those people that this is the gym for them. That, hey, if you're interested in boxing and you wanna progress and you want the best coaching possible, this is your guy. So here, here's information about the gym. Here's more information about the gym. Here's why this coach is so good. So I'm getting them interested. I'm getting their attention. I'm showing them straight away that this is a place for them, keeping them on this website so that I can move them towards this process. The rest of the stuff are gonna add in here and I can get them to take action down here in the contact form to book their first lesson. So my sections are before I even start designing or you know what color is what, images, what am I gonna write here? Just the strategy behind it. I'm planning out the sections that are gonna help me to achieve these most important goals. Okay, so now that this is done, I have a top menu, I got a hero section, then straight into why this gym, about the gym, about the coach, but I still have a bit of a gap here before it's ready to take them to the contact form and get them to take action. They're now interested, we have their attention, we're showing them why this gym is perfect, but they're still gonna have a lot of unanswered questions if we just get them to take action right away. They're gonna wonder, well, you know, what exactly is it? Like, you know, is it lessons? Is it group lessons, one-on-one -on -one lessons? What equipment do I need? How does it work? Can I sign up? What's the cost? They're gonna have loads of different questions. So what we need to do, you know, we have their attention, they're reading the website, they can see that it's perfect for them, but now we need to show them exactly how it works, what else is involved, and just kind of get them as prepared as possible to take action so that by the time they contact this person, they're ready to not only sign up, but they have a very clear idea of what they're signing up for. We don't just wanna push people to take action and then this guy, the business owner, 
has to deal with just loads of people who didn't really get it. And now when they find out what it really is, they're not interested or they have a bunch of questions or they're kind of hesitant. That's just creating extra work for him. So we really want to add in some extra sections here to just explain what's going on, um, explain how good it is and just answer any questions that we can and then get people to take action. Cool. So I've just added in that we're going to have a section on one-on-one -on -one lessons, that we're going to have a section on group classes, and then we're going to have a section on frequently asked questions. So pretty logical. You know, we're getting people on the website. They're interested with this top section. They, you know, okay, this is a cool looking gym. Perfect. They go down to this section. They find out more about the gym. Who's it for? Uh, how good this coach is? You know, how good boxing can be? How fast they can learn it? The sort of results that they want to get? Perfect. But now we have to let them know exactly what's on offer here, what this business does, how it works. So we have some sections on the one-on-one -on -one lessons. We have a section on the group classes. We have a frequently asked question for just like, you know, what shorts to wear, boxing gloves, um, how to book your first lesson, all that sort of stuff. And then we have the contact form and we have the footer. So we're nearly there, but what else could we add in here to just make it as good as possible to help this guy have people who are super interested to buy and who just trust the business as much as possible, who feel good about this whole process and who are ready to take action and sign up for that first lesson. Okay, so I added in two more sections here, a promo video or a photo section and a testimonial section. Now, what am I doing here? Why did I add these in? Basically, when anyone's making any buying decision and you can use this with any sort of project that you're doing, they're gonna have uncertainty. If they're on a website in the first place, if they're just Googling, you know, what website to use, what service to use, what product to buy or whatever it is, they're gonna have uncertainty. They're not sure of what decision to make. Now, what we can do to help them make a decision is show them that other people have used this business, they've used this service, or they've used this product and that they got great results and that they're happy with the decision that they made and that you also can trust this business. The person using the website can trust the business. So that's the point of these sections is just to build trust, to show people that other people have used this boxing gym, they had a great time, they got great results, you know, you can feel good about this gym, you can go ahead and contact this gym, you don't have to worry about things, this gym is going to help you. So that's the point of these sections, build trust and just make it more likely that people reach out to this business and feel good about the decision and feel comfortable working with this business or like potentially working with them. Okay, so we're now up to a few different sections. You know, one page is filling up pretty fast here. We've got a top menu, hero section, these sections here where we talk about the gym and the coach, possible promo video or some photos. Then we're gonna talk about one-on-one -on -one lessons, group classes, frequently asked questions, testimonials, then a contact form at the bottom so people can reach out either with questions or they can book their first lesson. And then a footer, which is some basic business information. Now, anything else that we should put in here one thing that I think is missing is just some calls to action throughout this website. There's quite a few sections here. So if we just left it up for people to scroll through each section and hopefully get to the bottom, maybe some people will drop off. So what I'm going to do is just add in some call to actions between these different sections, maybe just like two or three, just in case that some people are already ready to go by this stage and that they don't have to scroll the whole way down, that they can actually just click a button and go straight to taking action. Okay, so this is it. I now have my website layout. I'm going to have a top menu with a call to action up there for people who are just ready straight away. Maybe they've already been on the website. They're coming back to the website. They know this is the gym they're going to use. They can just hit this button and go straight to the contact form. The other people, they check out this hero section. They get into straight away, find an ad about this gym, how good it is, how good the coach is, seeing either a cool promo video or some photos. Perfect. Now, maybe some people are ready to go, so they'll hit this you know, call to action button and go straight down to the contact form. Other people, maybe not, they might want some more details. So right beneath that, we have some information about the one-on-one -on -one lessons, how they work, sort of results you can get, um, how good they are for people who are into this. Then the group classes, how those work, the same things. Frequently asked questions, just all those kind of random questions that people are gonna have about how this works, how to sign up, what to bring, the cost, how long to get results, those sort of things. After that, call to action. Um, if they don't hit this one though, we'll hit them with some testimonials. Just show once more that people can trust this gym, that it gets great results. It's the perfect choice. And then we'll get them to take action as much as we can. And at the bottom of the website, just putting in, you know, basic information, the address, the phone number, opening hours, um, location, all those sort of things. 
Okay, so that is it for this video. It's not a perfect science. This is a creative process. You gotta think strategically. You gotta think outside the box, get creative, try and solve these problems and have a plan behind the websites that you're building. So really hope that you enjoyed this video. Next week, what I'm gonna do is take the plan that we came up with and show you how I'm quickly gonna turn that into a website that looks great. I'll show you the actual design, the layout, um, how I code it up. I kind of got some tricks there that save a lot of time, make it really, really easy, and you don't need too much technical skills to end up at a great website. So if you wanna see that, catch the next video. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. If you got any questions, just post it up below as well. And if you got any value from this, please share the video. So that's it for this week. Catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.